Hey guys, how you doing? That's pathetic. How are you doing? Still pathetic. Still just have to accept it. Anyway, uh, hi everyone. I'm here to tell you some jokes. Now these are not just one-liners. Uh, I thought I'd share a little bit more personal, a little more personal experience stuff from my own life here to try to share as jokes. Uh, first of all, my name is Forrest. Uh, I didn't think it would be very difficult. Uh, it's not a very difficult name to remember, but you know, all throughout grade school, people were always calling me the wrong name. I was called Franklin, Foster, and Faggot. So there are a lot of like, yeah, called names all the time. Which was really weird in, in hindsight because uh, I was homeschooled. And I was like, what, mom? Why, why would you say that to me? Anyway, no, because of this, I was a big fan of anti-bullying campaigns. I was, I was a really big fan. I, I even bought one of those, those anti-bullying bracelets that was, I, I know I was supposed to do. I mean, I say bought, I, I stole it from a fat ginger kid, so that's essentially the same thing. Okay. Now, wow, let me think. Other things uh, about me. Um, I'm a juggler. I juggle. Yes. Uh, I'm also single. Starting to think those two might be connected. Uh, it's not very often you see a girl that's like, what, you spend hours and hours practicing a skill that has no real life application? Mmm. Getting some of that. <laughs> I'm too hard on myself, though. I know I am. I mean, that's essentially what athletes do, and they seem to be doing fine. Oh. oh. Now, I would never pick on athletes. Not to their face. Because, let's be honest, most of them could kill me. I mean, if you've ever seen some of these guys in the weight room, you just sort of ask them, it's like, hey, do you live here? Just in the, in the room all the time? No. I do try to go to the gym every once in a while. I try to try to stay healthy, try to stay fit. Uh, it's really hard though, because whenever I walk into the gym, immediately I hear this song in my head, it's like, one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> one of these things just doesn't belong. And that's me. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's particularly awful if you have someone that's, that's kind of chatty, they come up to you and say, hey man, what are you working on today? <sighs> um, I'm just gonna work on um, my uh, triflex toys, uh, or maybe later with my um, lifting my uh, biceratops. <laughs> Give it a good working. What am I working at? I'm just trying to figure out what the machines do. I wander up, up and down the line of machines for about 20 minutes, pretending to stretch, and then I do 15 push-ups in the corner. That's my workout. So there's other ways to keep off weight if that's your entire goal. You know, uh, there's, uh, there's always dieting. How many of you have ever had a friend go on a diet? Let, let me rephrase the question. How many of you have ever had a friend turn into an irritable douchebag for a week? <laughs> because that's about how long it lasts. They start saying really condescending things like, oh, what are you eating? Mmm, a corn dog. I had no idea I was better than you. <laughs> Want a carrot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still, the cafeteria is a pretty magical place. It, it's an amazing place. It doesn't matter what they're serving, you will still be disappointed. <laughs> and uh, I, I really am thankful for the cafeteria, though, because I mean, that's where I've learned the entirety of all my dance moves. If you've ever tried to walk through the, the cafeteria when it's busy, you're doing like some kind of mambo around the chairs, around the table. It's the same sort of dance you do in uh, Bolt House 100 where you're scooting in for the seat. <laughs> you're going to start thinking about that, scooting in line. Uh, let me think. Other things about me. Um, my friends say oh, I overreact. Yeah, can you even imagine that? You know, I had uh, my friend the other day, she said straight to my face, Forrest, you overreact to the slightest criticism. And I said, no, I don't. And then she said, because <clears throat> I punched her in the throat. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk much anymore. Uh, but she doesn't talk much in general, so I, kind of, I, I think it's more due to that fact. Uh, uh, I was single. I actually, I did get a girlfriend this summer. Um, Thank you. 
Thanks, man. I love how all the guys cheer at that. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, I, I, it's because I went on a couple dates this summer, a couple, couple dates, and I wanted to tell you about one particular date I went on this summer, and it was going really well. It was going super well. We went ice skating, walked her home, walked her up to the door, and, uh, you know, I decided, you know, maybe I would kiss her this evening, because there's nothing that can go wrong with that plan. Because, uh, you know, I, I figured, you know, you've got the options. You can either you side hug it out, or you can actually just try to kiss her. Now, I know... There's probably a lot of former homeschoolers here who have no idea what a first kiss experience is like, so I'm going to try to explain that to you. Uh, now, as a general rule for first kisses, there's a general rule of be conservative. You might wonder how, what I mean by that. A couple mathematics. Closed mouth plus closed mouth kiss equals awesome. Open mouth plus open mouth kiss equals awesome. Closed mouth kiss plus open mouth kiss equals horrifying, scarring experience wherein one person tries to eat the face of the other. Now with this in mind, I take you back to my date. And as I was leaning forward, I did a little check, a little peek, a little, you know, just like, is she feeling me here? And I realized that she did not get the public service notice. She, she was not being conservative at all. And I was like, oh, no. But it was too late, because I was, I was kind of off balance going forward. So I tried to do a mayday maneuver. I tried to just roll out of the kiss, which did not go the way I planned, because it was kind of too much momentum. Where am I? Oh, there we go. It was a little too much forward momentum. And essentially, she licked me from my chin to my ear which was not what I was expecting. <laughs> and I didn't really have something to do. It felt like a weird, like, cat back to my face. So I just reacted in that way. I just blew on her face and said, No! Back! <laughs> and I don't know how you salvage an evening after you've screamed, No! Back! But I could not do it. So she didn't say anything. And I didn't say anything. And I turned around. And I just walked to my car. And that was the best date I had all summer. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of 737.